Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Today, we have five hearings covering a couple of Sovereign Citizen court updates. First, we have three appearances by the living man, Eric Martin, who not only has several traffic tickets throughout Michigan, but recently picked up a domestic violence charge and has been sitting in jail for a little over a month now. So let's begin. Okay, no matter people versus Eric Martin. Mr. Martin, can you hear us? Yes. Uh, can I get the first uh, case number of the uh, of this so-called case that never was given a copy of the this, uh, the ticket by the police officer, which he should have in violation of my due process. Two four right? one three eight eight SM. Two four one. What else? Three eight SM. Three eight three eight eight SM. Two four one three eight SM. Right. Yeah. Two eight. Okay. All right, thank you. Uh, I do have in front of me a complaint charge with domestic violence violation of city code. It's misdemeanor. Oh, I see January 24th, January 10th. Okay, you put in that guilty, uh, Mr. Gazicki? Yes, John James Gazicki. Uh, Mr. Martin expressed his um, right not to be represented by a court appointed attorney. He wishes to represent himself. Okay. Is that right, Mr. Uh, Martin? Present myself, yeah. Okay. Because I don't want to give up my right to be one of the sovereign people as the U.S. Supreme Court said that right to be. So. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to let you do that. Uh, I don't care why. Uh, have you talked to the prosecutor? No, I have not. I want you to get the prosecutor and have her talk to... Uh, Mr. Martin, and let's see what we're going to do today. All right, so I would like to talk to him right about how the case should be dismissed based on there's no evidence. Well, that's what a trial is for. And trust me when I say this, if there wasn't any evidence against you, like you said, then we wouldn't be at this point in the trial and your victim wouldn't be sitting next to you. Now, he went into the breakout room to have a conversation with the prosecutor, but of course, that got nowhere because this is a malicious prosecution and the prosecutor doesn't have any jurisdiction over him. A matter of people versus Eric Martin. Okay, thank you. Mr. Martin, can you hear us? Yes, I hear you. Okay, Mr. Prosecutor, you want to put your appearance on record? And good morning, Your Honor. Omar, or good afternoon, Your Honor. Omar Shadron on behalf of the people, PA 6332. Okay. Uh, you've had an opportunity to talk to Mr. Martin? That is correct, Judge. Been able to resolve this matter? Yes, there is no resolution on this matter. I had an opportunity to speak with the defendant in this case. He wishes to have a jury trial or a bench trial. He just doesn't know which one he wants. Okay, uh, Mr. Martin, uh, which one do you want? Uh, I'm gonna set this over for a trial. You want a jury or uh, a judge to hear it? Well, I don't really want to answer that question. I don't want to be fraudulently presumed. I'm consenting to any of these uh, proceedings. You know, I'm not consenting to, to have my right against slavery violated by consenting to any proceedings. Please. So that's why I kind of want to answer that question. But um, before I get to, as I notified the prosecutor, he should have dismissed the case due to lack of evidence. Um, but I had one more thing I wanted to point out to the prosecutor. I forgot to mention to him. Uh, I want to mention him now, and that is I want the police officer, Bardway, who illegally arrested me. I want him charged for the legal arrest, which is assault and battery. Um, and also Judge Shackleford, who did not give me a personal bond. Um, I want arrested too for violating my right against kidnapping and allowing this unlawful incarceration of me, which I have a right to do. And if they refuse to do it, I'm also going to move for dismissal on the case because it's violating my right against equal protection because I have the right to have charges brought against people who have committed crimes against me also. But those crimes actually have to exist and can't just be manifestations of your stupidity. And let me get something straight. You want the officer arrested for arresting you and you want the judge arrested for not giving you a PR bond? While we're at it, you want us to just go ahead and arrest your victim for assaulting your hand with her face? Um, okay, based on that, I'm going to indicate that you want a jury trial. I'll set this matter over. I'll have the assignment clerk set a date 
Uh, she'll get send you a notification of the date for the jury trial. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to continue your bond until that day. You go with the sheriff. He'll take care of you today. Hello, I have an objection. I have a motion to make that I have a right to a personal bond. You I file have... that motion. You file that motion in writing, and I'll take a look at it. I already in did the meantime, follow with the... In the meantime, in the meantime, I want you to go with the sheriff, and he's going to take care of you. A lot of object. I have some. I, I already what filed. I, uh, what am I I'm mute? making that motion now. I'm making that demand actually now because it's a constitutional right to be innocent without guilty. All right, then I'll be taking your job. How about that? Because you violate my constitutional right, and I've moved to dismiss you off the case, disqualify you. Since you violate my due process right to a to a personal bond, you're, then you showed your biasness, and you should not be in the case no more. I move to disqualify you. If you deny that motion, I ref I request that you send it to the state court administrative office. You're not supposed to continue my bond with monetary uh, award. Shackle for to legally deny my personal bond, and you're not supposed to continue that illegal denial. I have a constitutional right to be presumed innocent, and that means the right to a personal bond. Article 3, Section 1, judges that violate the Constitution cannot hold the office. <laughs> but don't grant that motion if you want to, that demand. I'll be to get your job in a lawsuit. That's all I got to say. So you want to continue with that? It's not like they muted me, maybe. Well, these judges are going to find out. They're not, they're not above the Constitution. And you're not above taking responsibility. And from the appearance of your court outfit, you're not above jurisdiction either. So now we're done with the first hearing. Let's move on to the second. This is case 231510, people of the city of Taylor versus Eric Martin. And Jeffrey Fanto, the court asked me to verify that Mr. Martin would be presenting himself without the assistance of attorney. That appears to be his position, Judge. All right, so Mr. Martin, you are um, waiving the House counsel? Yes, due to, so I'm not fraudulently assumed to be the defendant, a living man, not the legal fiction corporate entity defendant, which I could possibly be. I don't do the canon law being, you know, unfair. It's going to, you guys fraudulently assume that if I take an attorney. So that's the unfairness why I can't accept the attorney because of that. Sure. All right. And you understand all of your constitutional rights? Um, I do my best to. I've been studying practicing law 28 years. All right. That's, uh, all right. So um, looks like this is uh, ready to be set for a uh, jury trial. Is that right? Yeah, but I want a jury trial of my peers means of the sovereign people, not uh, U.S. citizen uh, slaves who most probably everyone of the jury probably say they are, so. Didn't you just say that you are a 28-year constitutional law scholar and you haven't figured out by now that a jury of your peers consists of your fellow citizens and not the idiots that you roast crayons over the fire with? As the individual who determines questions of law, that's me, um, I will uh, make sure that uh, it is a uh, jury of your peers. So, and I'll determine, uh, I'll determine that. So, we will have this uh, set and then... Uh, I'll mail out the date for the jury trial. The, I believe there is a date set for next Tuesday for the jury trial in this matter. All right, I guess see that. I have objections. Uh, I well, can probably prepare for trial in this jail. I've been illegally denied my uh, right constitutional right to a personal bond, even though it's my constitutional right because it's part of my right to be innocent before guilty. Uh, it's been denied so far. I have no money to pay for a bond to get out of here. So that's especially why I also should be given a personal bond. And like I said, I can uh, probably prepare for one in here. You know? So you, you're you you're in there for a different matter because I set your bond at $100 personal before on this matter. So it's the whatever's keeping you in jail isn't this case. So we'll see. It. We'll, um, I understand, though, that you do need to prepare for trial. I get that part. So we'll go ahead and adjourn the uh, jury trial. When are you, what is your out date um, where, where, with whatever you're doing there? There is no out date, that's the thing. It's uh, 
So is this about the um, moped case? Yeah, this is driving on a. This okay, is driving while your license is. I wasn't sure, right? They got me legally confined right now in the domestic violence. No evidence at all. She lied, made a statement. So now they well, hold on, Mr. Martin. Mr. Martin, hold on. You, even though this is a different court and that's not my case, right. um, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you. I just want to advise you of your Fifth Amendment right again. And so I, I suggest like not bringing up the other case. This case here is on the is on the uh, moped and the driving on a suspended license or, right. so, or, or a revoked license. Okay. Um, not so what I'm saying is you need time to prepare on that one. I, I don't know what I don't know what the situation or status is of a domestic violence case, but um, you said that you're on a bond, you're on bond. Um, well, you haven't posted your bond on that case. Is that what you're saying? Well, they, I'm not even sure. I think the, the judge said a monetary bond. I wasn't sure because she unprofessionally drew the thing away from, you know, the, do you want to call it this, uh, you know, the remote uh, Zoom thing away from the door before I could read to hear. But it's not like she told the, the police officer $2,000, but I'm not even sure. I got no money to pay you by no way, but even if it's a dollar, so. Well, that's a lie. Not the part about being so broke that you couldn't afford a $1 bond. You're a sovereign citizen, so I know that's the truth. But I also know that everything else you said was a lie because I covered that hearing and I have video proof. Judge Shackelford very clearly told you what your bond was and why it was that amount. The screen was only pulled away after your bond was set and only when you wouldn't stop running your glue eater. I am allowed. I don't have nowhere else to live. That's my house. I'm allowed there. You order well, these other individuals that violates my due process. All right. He has a $2,000 cash bond with a GPS tether. Yes, I'll check. He's not to return. He's not, he's not, he's not, not to appear at he's night. He's not innocent without guilty. He cannot come to 9074 Clipper or be in contact with Crystal Martin. So, right, because they illegally deny my personal bond, this is why I'm still in here. So, but, but yeah. So, all right. So, what I'll do is, yeah, I don't, um, I don't know when that case is next. Uh, the next day is that it's a state case, Ms. Van Reno. You don't have a, the, that case, right? I, okay, I don't so it must be a state. Case. All right, and um, so that must be it. Must be a state case, which means it's on a Monday. Um, so that's probably going to be resolved within a month. So let me go ahead and set this for a uh, jury trial. No, there will be uh, no need to set it for. Uh, a settlement conference before that. But let's well, get I, that. I don't touch up. I was going to object before you guys don't give me a chance to talk. Uh, object to like it should be. I, I moved that to be stayed. This this moped case to, till I get out of prison. I mean, till I get out of jail here, I can prepare myself. I can't probably prepare myself. Wait, that's right. Listen, listen to my legal listen, listen. authorities. Listen. Article, nothing. It's being set for jury trial. Good one. Okay, so when is that one? Okay. All right, so I'm going to set it for a jury trial, but if you're still in jail at that time, then I'll just adjourn it again so that you can prepare. I, I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not worried about that. So, I mean, uh, but I can't do anything about your other case is what I'm saying. So I'm looking at, um, as far as a date right now, I just want to put a date on the books so that we know that you have an idea. I mean, if you get out tomorrow, then you'll know and what your date is. Um, so I'm looking at, um, uh, let's see. I don't have the availability to check with my clerk because my criminal clerk is out this week. Um, Your Honor, we do. So I'll, I'll, have other jury, I'm sorry, Judge. We do have other jury trials scheduled on your docket on July 9th. I don't know if that's too soon. Uh, that's probably going to be, and it's only a couple of weeks away. So I don't, I don't, I don't think I don't know what his situation is, and even if he gets out. In a week, that only gives him uh, a little bit of time. I want to make sure he has at least a couple yeah. weeks to. I mean, it's it's a it's a driving it's a driving on a, re a re restricted license, so it's not exactly a whole lot of prep time for for that. It's not a it's not a homicide case, but uh don't say that, Judge. Driving without a license is tantamount to homicide if you ask a sovereign citizen. Both are victimless crimes, and no one has jurisdiction to prosecute either one of them to begin with. Um, so I'm looking at I'm looking at uh, August. 13th because I, I, I really I'm trying to pick a date that's outside of 
probably where I'm already scheduling stuff at because I don't have my criminal clerk here to kind of check and see like where I'm at with things. So we're going to set this for August 13th. Thank you, Your Honor. And I know that the, uh, yeah. we'll, we'll set that at 830, 830 in the morning, August 13th. All right. Mr. Martin, let the deputy know that um, you're all set and um, we'll be mailing out the uh, notice to you, Thank sir. You. Thank you, Your Honor. All the best to you and your staff. Say, say again. That's something I want to say to okay, with the prosecutors here. Uh, dealing with this other case that I'm here for now, I request not the same, not the same, not the same prosecutor, not the same oh, prosecutor, not the same prosecutor. Other prosecutor. Taylor prosecutor. I, your other case? Are you talking about your other case? Your other case is a state case, so that's a Wayne County prosecutor's office, no, so not, the, not the city attorney. I'm talking about okay. the case I'm in here now. I want to um, notify the prosecutor that I want charges filed on Crystal Mark for bringing these falsified charges against me now, and also for assault and battery that I have on video camera for. Just so, you know what I mean? And she keeps okay. bringing this. Again, that's the other prosecutor. That's a different prosecutor's right. officer. Because it's my All equal right. protection right to bring charges to. They want to bring charges against me, but they don't have no way and I do. And I should be okay. the one suffering here in jail as a lack of evidence as a result of the unequal protection. Clause. And that's on your that's on your other that's on your other case, sir. So but um, let's that's still a right though. It's still my right to tell the prosecutors this and have them act on it. And if they no, don't this isn't, it, that's this isn't, by a defense. This isn't the proper for prosecutor. That's the Wayne County prosecutor's office on your other case. Okay. This is the uh, city attorney's office. Okay. There's a pretty have a good rest of your day to you and your staff. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, so that's the end of that hearing. But he had another one just yesterday. And let me tell you something. This is the first time I have ever seen someone age an entire decade over just three weeks. McMullen, case uh, the motion to uh, set aside. Let me bring him out. People versus Martin, case 241388SM. <clears throat> Today's the uh, dating time set for a settlement conference. Also, there was a uh, motion by Mr. Martin, um, motion to dismiss the case. Court has uh, read through the motion. Uh, there was no accompanying brief and support. Well, there's also uh, objections to the denial of the uh, personal bond. I'm going to consider that as a motion for reconsideration. All right, Mr. Martin, was there anything else you wanted to place on the record, sir? Oh, yes. Um, well, first, I'm not the fraudulently assumed defendant. I am a living sovereign man. Um, I, can see, uh, I can see that you are a living man. Uh, you are currently talking and uh, we are having know. a conversation, so okay. Right, but well, but John, you know, under the law, there's fraudulent presumptions under Canon Law 3228 that you know that say otherwise, and there's a lot of support what I'm saying. So that's why I say what I say to you know to the record. But anyways, yes, I do have other things to say. Um, first, I also want to file a, a demand to dismiss this case based on speedy trial violation under Mission Court Rule 6.0. Or C, 28 days for speedy trial and misdemeanor cases. I've been in jail over that since the 8th of last month. It takes a real idiot savant to make both a valid legal argument and give the counter argument to his claim in the same sentence. First, speedy trial rights are preserved for defendants who are currently remanded, and he's right. According to MCR 6.004C, he should be released after 28 days on a PR bond unless the court finds clear and convincing evidence that he's a flight risk. You don't think the court has jurisdiction over you. You failed to show up to several court hearings in the past, including in this particular courtroom, and you don't have a problem committing any future crimes because you know you're a sovereign and laws don't apply to you. So you are by definition a flight risk. And to be honest with you, MCR 6.004C does not apply to you. Um, and also, well, go ahead, Julian. I also want to say, uh, I ask that you give me all the time to speak, say anything I want to say, you know, instead of like shutting the court proceedings off, it just happened before. 
make sure I, you know, I'm done with everything I have to say. But that's it for right now. Um, but I, like I said, I might just say depending on what you say in response. So. All right. Well, your uh, motion to dismiss is denied. Your motion for reconsideration with regard to personal bond is also denied. Um, uh, do we are we setting this for a bridge trial or a jury trial? Well, I asked that question. I have to respond now to your denial. Now, based on what reasons are those denied, I have things to say in response to that. Well, sir, there's not, there's I'm not cutting you off, but there's nothing. It's my ruling. There's if you want to file a motion for reconsideration as to anything, you're more than welcome to follow the court rule and do so. Um, but there's there's really nothing to add to my ruling. Um, so if I'm, asking the, I'm just asking the reason. I'm not asking the am what are the reasons that the um, the bond, for example, is denied? Okay, first of all, what's what reasons is it being already, denied? I've already stated that last time, sir. So, are we at my the next question here? Is do you want a bench trial or jury trial? Well, I have more to say in response to the um. The do you want a bench denied. trial or a jury trial, sir? Stop avoiding the question. Not as much to take up jury. Jury trial. All right, we're going to set this for a jury trial. But I want to make it clear, and, uh, I'm, not, I'm not consenting to the given jurisdiction notice, of the You'll court. be given notice of when that will be, sir. Okay, I'm not consenting to the jurisdiction of the court still. And uh, You see what I'm saying? You openly don't consent to the jurisdiction of this court, and yet you still want them to find you as a non-flight risk and let you out for free. You are subject to the jurisdiction of this court, sir. You live in the state of Michigan. You live in the jurisdiction, and under the Michigan Constitution and the, the United States Constitution, this court does have jurisdiction over this case and over you as the alleged defendant. Uh, the it's warrant was signed. The probable cause. The warrant had probable cause. The warrant was signed. That's all that's uh, needed to bring a uh, charge, and uh, it's brought in the proper place, uh, which is here because you live in Taylor, and this is Taylor, so this is where the case would be. So your motions were denied, and we're going to set this for a jury trial. We'll be giving you the date and time of when that jury trial will be. Let, also, the, uh, deputy, let the deputy know that. Well, that's uh, what I mean. See, I'm not done yet. I have more to say. I'm oh, come on, Judge. He had more to say, and we have more popcorn to throw at him. Okay, so that's the end of the Eric Martin saga for now. He's not going anywhere, and no speedy trial rights are being violated. Next, I have a sovereign citizen that I didn't previously cover, as other great channels like Old Squishy Gardener and Colin had covered him. However, this sovereign citizen had another appearance late last week, so I figured I would cover both of the hearings for those of you that missed the first one, and those of you that want an update on the second one. People versus Balcom, December 235256. Here, on behalf of the people. Thank you. Is present here in the courtroom today. This was originally set as a sentencing hearing. Uh, Mr. Kuhn, I got a report from the probation department indicating that uh, you can find to participate in the process. Oh, every up here. Greetings, Your Honor. Um, I'm here by special appearance, not a general appearance, and I reserve all my rights and explicit reservation with without prejudice. I, Paul Kuhn, a sentinel moral being, have examined the path of my feet on and have uh, concluded that I have dishonored many people, including, but not limited to the people the peace officers, the city, the, co the county, and to determine that I have made many mistakes, and I'm sorry for I'm sorry for my sins, and therefore I repent now. I have become aware of other sins I have made, I may have committed, and I'll repent immediately. This isn't church. We don't need you to repent. We need you to take responsibility for your actions. And that includes participating in your pretrial investigation to see what, if any, jail time is necessary and if you even qualify for probation. But not participating in this process will not keep you from going to jail. In fact, it will guarantee you the exact opposite. To my attorney, it has come to my attention that you have never informed me of my choice of law. And to make matters worse, 
you chose to an inferior form to have me tried under. You are either incompetent or collusion with the prosecutor. Either way, you have provided me with an effective assistance of, or ineffective assistance of counsel, which has caused me great harm. You were fired. Okay. Um, uh, do you intend to hire another attorney? Um, are you appointed? I was appointed. How are you going to proceed in terms of counsel, Mr. Cohen? Oh, I'm going to do it myself. Okay. Um, all right. You understand that you have the right to have an attorney? I do. And you understand that if you can't afford an attorney, you have the right to have one appointed for you at public expense. And in fact, that's what uh, we've been operating under up till now. I have yeah, legal counsel, but um, anyways, I'm I'll accept what we have. Okay, so you understand that you do have the right to have an appointed attorney if you can't afford one. I had him, and he has done me no good from the beginning. So, yep. um, at this point, I'll just um, I'll take whatever you got to give me. Well, that's a bad idea. At least an attorney will get up there and make an argument that your nonsensical ramblings are a product of internet misguidance and not an ingrained belief system that needs jail time to extricate. Yeah, I'm just asking whether you understand that you have that right. And in spite of that, you're asking the court to allow you to represent yourself today? Yes. Okay. Um, have you ever represented yourself in court before? No. Um, Sir, I'm just, uh, I'm here as a special appearance only, and that's... Yeah, that doesn't have any legal significance to me at all. Um, I understand. My question is whether you've ever represented yourself in court before. No. Um, do you have any legal training or education? No, just have the people that um, help you through this. Okay. And so you understand that there are uh, not having represented yourself, not having any legal training or experience, that there are risks involved in representing yourself. Yes, sir. And that there are matters of procedure and substantive law that you may not be aware of. And therefore, there may be arguments that you could raise in your own defense um, that might give you an improved outcome in your case and that without that legal training and experience uh, you may not know what those are and you may have a worse outcome than if you had an attorney i'll, I'll take what it's given to me in spite of those risks is it still your wish to represent yes, yourself I'll take what is given to me that, that's not the answer to my question my question is do you still want to represent yourself knowing those risks sir i just um I'll accept any offer in return. Your offer to your, you know, for your closure and settlement of any account I may have. Okay, again, my question is: in spite of the risks of representing yourself, are you still asking to represent yourself? Yes. So at this point, the court, uh, with Mr. Gerber, he will discharge you. The court finds that uh, your request to represent yourself is knowing and voluntary and unequivocal. Um, and so at this point, the court's going to allow you to represent yourself going forward. Um, do you have anything to say with regard to your refusal to participate in the pre sentence interview process? Want to give me all the time. Okay, so that's something that you're required to do as part of the court's order. Uh, because you declined to do that, the court is going to revoke your bond. Uh, the court is going to order that you be remanded to the Crawford County Jail. Uh, I'm going to request the probation officer to make another attempt uh, to go through the pre sentence interview process with you. Uh, if you continue to decline, then we'll just go forward with sentencing without. Uh, having that information before the court and Mr. Haven, if, you can just, if, if Mr. Poon refuses to participate, you can just indicate that for the court and then prepare the pre sentence report to the best of your ability without that information. Yes, sir. I did an acceptance dated and signed the top of it, and um, that's all I'm doing. Okay, well, we'll give it another try anyway, and uh, you're going to do what you're going to do, but for today's purposes, the court's going to revoke your bond. And remand you to the jail. The court will set this for a sentencing hearing 
at its next available date. So uh, we can go with the officer's choice. Okay. That's one way to get him to participate in his pretrial sentencing. Let him sit in jail accruing absolutely no time at all towards his charges until he accepts the fact that a jury of his peers found him guilty and it's time for him to take responsibility for his actions. So we come back for his second hearing and it appears as though he's finally accepted his fate, just not completely. Okay, so um, I just want to explain a couple things to you that the... I have an obligation to ask you certain questions to make sure that you understand what's happening with your case. And um, that's why I'm asking you whether you understand that you have the right to have an attorney and that you would have the right to have one appointed if you couldn't afford one. Um, I'm just trying to make sure that you understand your rights and um, it's my job to explain those rights to you. I'm not asking you to give up any rights. You're not putting yourself in any kind of legal danger by answering these questions. Um, I'm just trying to find out if you understand what your rights are and how we're going to go forward so that I know that you're knowingly and voluntarily choosing not to have an attorney to represent you. Um, and if you don't answer these questions that I'm asking you, it impedes my ability to proceed with the hearing in the way that I'm required to under the law. Um, you understand that? I want to answer that. All I know is I was told, you know, when I've read and stuff that I'm just I'm here in special appearance. What do you think that that means? I'm not contracting. If there's no corpus electi, how could there be a crime? Yeah, that's not what special appearance means. A special appearance is when one licensed attorney steps in on a limited capacity for another licensed attorney. You dumb fucks aren't licensed, so you can't make special appearances even when you're representing yourself. Okay, you know what that even means? What, what no you're injured saying, party. What you're saying. If there's, to be no, if there's no injured party, where is the crime? Okay, well, first of all, a jury found you guilty. Right. And that, well, see, I'm, I'm stepping into you guilty of assaulting and resisting and obstructing two police officers. Right. That's what happened. I'm just, I'm here on special appearance. Okay. Um, if you continue to refuse to answer my very simple questions just about whether you understand what's happening, and if you continue to just give me that answer, um, which doesn't make any sense and doesn't have any legal effect, no matter what you've read or what other people have told you, um, then you're impeding my ability to proceed in the way that I need to under the law. And if you continue to do that, my only option is to impose a sanction on you until you do answer my questions. And what that means is that I'm going to find you in direct contempt or leading the function of the court by refusing to answer very simple questions. Um, and I'm going to put you in jail for 30 days. And if at any point during that jail stay, you decide that you will answer these very simple questions, then we'll come back into court immediately and we'll take care of the sentencing. Um, but those are going to be your options because I'm not going to, I'm not going to have you just Okay, well, thank you for clearing that up. Give me a fucking break. This has been very clear to you from the beginning. You just thought you were going to pull the same loser soft shit nonsense and get away with it when no one else ever has. Um, so it's your I choice. Want, you can answer my like questions. Or you an can attorney, them. but the attorney I had absolutely did nothing. Okay, we're past that point. What we're here for today is the sentencing hearing. Because you've been convicted, you've been found guilty by a jury of your peers. Um, and so we're here for sentencing. So we're not here to talk about what did or didn't happen with your lawyer before. I'm trying to find out if you understand that you have the right 
to hire your own lawyer, or if you can't afford one, that one will be appointed for you. Do you understand that you have that right? Yes. Okay. And you understand that um, proceeding without a lawyer has certain risks. Do you understand that? Uh, but I obviously can't afford an attorney. Okay. Um, and the one I had, again, did not, didn't do a dang thing because the ticket should have never been split. Okay. Do you want that to request an argument to begin with? Do you want to request a different attorney to be appointed? Actually, yes. You do. Okay. All right. So you did previously qualify. So I find that you continue to qualify for court appointed attorney. The court is going to appoint one for you and we'll reset this hearing for uh, my next available date. Okay. You might want back to jail or can I go home? No, you're going back to jail until we can have the hearing. I've already had three weeks in jail, sir. And you made that choice by refusing to comply with the pre-sentence process. That was your choice. You're just facing the consequences for your own choice. Damn right he is. And to think that all of this is happening because of a simple obstruction of justice charge. So I guess it's time to throw him back in the pool of genetic losers and send him back to jail like a good sovereign, but not before the judge gives him some solid advice. And if you have people advising you to take this ridiculous stand and make these statements that don't mean anything to the court, they're giving you really bad advice. And they're not the ones paying for that advice you are. And I, I think you need to start listening to a lawyer who actually knows something about the law and not what you read on the internet or what people tell you because they don't know. And you're taking their advice and you're paying the consequence for their bad advice. They're out doing what they want to do. You're the one who's in here in jail. So I, I would suggest that you start listening to a real lawyer and not what you read on the internet or what people are telling you who really don't know what they're talking about. Um, so that's the way we're going to proceed. I will appoint an attorney to represent you uh, at the next hearing. And, and when your will that be? is going to continue to be revoked until that time. What's that? And when will that be? Whenever they get around to it and not a day sooner. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Both of these morons will be back in a couple of months, and you know I'm going to bring it directly to you. The sources are listed in the description, and give Old Squishy Gardener and Colin Definitely Not Cromwell a subscribe. They work really hard to bring us this level of dipshittery, and they deserve your subscription. So if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike. But don't forget to leave a comment below, and subscribe with notifications on, so you don't miss any of my content. I'm Team Skeptic. And I'm out.